take you out to Seattle right now. Different view tonight. Look at that CenturyLink field lit up for election night with a red, white, and blue there. Gorgeous shot. Uh, things are going to be turning a bit here. We've had some nice sunshine, mm -hmm. Craig, but I know it sounds like tomorrow that's going to change. Oh, so fast. And that right after tomorrow, the storm doors are going to open. We're going to have one storm after the other. So get ready for a pretty rainy week at times and some heavy rain right through the mountains as well. But boy, what a beautiful end to the day, right? 65 is where we finished the day at SeaTac. Average for this time of year is 54. We still have lots of 50s on the map right now, even a 60 for Lake Stevens as we look at our school net temperature sites. As we look out over the waterfront, by the way, sunrise tomorrow at 657 and sunset at 448. All right, the clouds are coming on in quickly. Where is the rain? Well, it's knocking on our door. This is storm number one that will come in, bring in the rain from the south, southwest, moving up to the north, northeast. And then look at these storms all lined up. So we're going to have rain at times through Thursday, not rain every single day or for all day rather, but at times we'll have rain. So rainy day tomorrow at 9 a.m. as we pause a moment with Craig. This is Wilson. Boy, what a game yesterday, right? Seahawks. All right, scattered showers by 3 p.m. I think most of the rain comes through early tomorrow. This is the future cast, the UW high resolution model. 3 o'clock in the morning, the front starts to come in with some heavy rain at times. Look at those shades of yellow. That's some heavy rain. The front now moving over the right over the sound about 5 o'clock or so, and then by 7 o'clock for the morning commute between 7 and 9. Look at the heavy rain still coming on in. Behind it, by about 11, the backside is sliding right over the south sound, and then we'll get some clouds for a good part of the day with a few scattered showers during the afternoon. All right, well, what about Wednesday? Well, Wednesday morning starts off cloudy, maybe some light scattered showers and spots, but the front starts to come in by the afternoon. This is 12 o'clock Wednesday afternoon, a few scattered showers by the commute home, heavier by about 9 o'clock, and most of it mainly in the convergent zone between Seattle and Everett, and then we'll get another round on Thursday. But these are very impressive rainfall totals by the end of the day. Tomorrow, again, a lot of it coming through early in the morning, quarter of an inch to an inch and a half or so. What about tonight? Well, plan on some upper 40s and low 50s with the clouds still in place and highs tomorrow mostly into the mid and upper 50s. Maybe some spots trying to get closer to 60. If you're traveling the passes tomorrow, we can expect one to three inches of rain by the end of the day. So rain will be heavy at times. Snowfall levels are way up at 8,500 8, feet. So this is going to be a rain event for the passes. Just know it'll be coming down hard at times. Here's your seven day forecast. After we make it through the rain, it looks like we will continue with some cooler conditions. Greg and Joyce next week, temperature or by the end of the week, temperatures will drop into the mid and upper 40s. All right. Thanks, Craig. You got it.